This is the iCopy X100. Uh, it is a more expensive option, I would say, out of the ready available uh, RFID reader slash copiers available on uh, marketplaces today. Um, a lot of the readers are about half the price of this one, uh, how much it usually is. And I thought that was because there was app usability with this one. You could download an additional app, um, which I thought would make it easier to utilize. However, it's not really true. I've got both versions, the cheaper one and this one, and I found that they're exactly the same. Um, I've actually had more like uh, rewriting tags, um, low frequency uh, from the cheaper version than I have for this funnily enough. Um, but all in all they're pretty much the same quality uh, as you get. They're either USB powered or via batteries. So you got one, two, three, four AAA that you'll need uh, for that. Um, you can actually just place your card once it's powered up on the back or down the bottom. Um, they do come with a QR code for help and a group chat on WeChat if you need assistance. Um, the screens are all in English, uh, which I can't show you because I don't have four AA batteries at the moment. I can try and plug this in though, see if I can reach standby. Just try to plug this in. Bear with me. It's more light just flickering. Okay, there we go. So we've got a disclaimer to start off with. We we'll press OK and it comes to our screen. You can see Smart Clone, Format Card, Simulate NFC or System Setup. So if we go up to Smart Clone, press OK, we can just grab a random card. I've got some blank ones here. Place that at the back and press read. There we go. So you can see the parameters there. It's a 125 kilohertz card, read successfully. Um, so yeah, it does read cards, it does write cards, but I've just found that I've had better luck with um, other cheaper versions, usually the white model, than I have with this one. But um, all in all, it does its job, and if you're curious or want to play around with it, then uh, yeah, definitely recommend it.